Hello, my lovely people. Welcome back to my channel. Um, things are weird, huh? Things are super weird right now. I hope everybody is safe and keeping away from each other as much as possible. It really helps to live with somebody else during these times. I don't know what I would do if I didn't have my dog and my husband and I mean, I, I think I'd probably go crazier if I didn't have my husband because people, like, people need other people. We're social creatures. So being mandated to stay away from each other is really hard. Uh, but we're hanging in there and um, some days we'll go to a park, big empty park, and take our dog. And he really appreciates it. Also, I think I've also gotten over that dry spell. I've been doing a lot of drawing lately, which is excellent. It makes me feel good to put things down on paper. I don't know, even if they're not the most amazing thing, I'm actually being pretty consistent about um, making myself draw things. I'm actually getting into like little comic uh, style sorts of things. I don't know, I feel like I'm getting better at some things. I'm, practice makes perfect, I guess, you know? Um, so, yeah. I, uh, had an idea. Inktober had a prompt for the word joy. And, uh, you know, joy originates in the brain, you know? Um, thoughts and feelings and all sorts of things so uh, I started drawing a brain and then being myself I turned it into a bird and um, just decided to do some shading on this brain because it felt good it took me a few days to, to get these brains done um, yeah, sometimes I just have to put the watercolors aside and just play with graphite a little bit. Uh, switch up the mediums. It's, it's always a good thing to do just to exercise your art muscles. I also have... Uh, I have uh, a little bit of an addiction to this game called Animal Restaurant. Um, you hire different animals to do different things in your restaurant and you make money or cod and you buy things and different recipes and you collect all these different customer characters and you build rotating sushi bars and um collect plates and uh it's fun i don't know <laughs> i don't know what my deal is but i log into that thing like two or three times a day just to collect money that I've earned and stuff. Um, <laughs> I've also been playing Scrabble. Um, <clears throat> I go through phases where uh, I, I want to play Scrabble a lot or Words with Friends, either way. Either one. Um, words are good for you, man. I like, I like playing with words. What else have I been doing? Uh, me and the rest of the entire world, I guess. Uh, I've been making bread, um, homemade bread. I found this one recipe uh, and followed it. I found some yeast finally. I went to the Mexican meat market to get this yeast because I figured they had it. Uh, if anyone, If anyone had it little Mexican ladies that want to make bread. I just figured they would have it. Anyway, I went there and um, they did. And so I was finally able to make some bread and oh my gosh, I will never go back to store-bought bread. I will forever make my own bread now. Uh, it is delicious. My breakfast of the day, or it's like brunch, I don't know. I don't really do breakfast because I don't wake up late or early enough. Um, so I just like, drink coffee for a while until I get hungry and then and then it's time to eat but 
Yeah, I've been making eggs over easy on toasted homemade bread and oh, it's so good. Like I can't get sick of it. Um, yeah, I'll eat that and like some oranges and stuff. Um, get my food groups in. Uh, but yeah, making bread. Um, Rory and I got a puzzle like five years ago and it's been sitting on a shelf in our bedroom for as long <laughs> and uh yeah so we finally pulled that out it's like 1500 pieces i believe and uh it's of this little cottage in the woods i think it's an oil painting or something but they're all these neutral colors and it's completely frustrating and time consuming and perfect for right now so we've got that taking up our entire dining room table and um been working on that uh of course i've been playing animal crossing also like the rest of the world uh it's it's definitely a way to keep in touch with your friends and um you know you can go out and do things without really doing anything <laughs> except logging into this video game and uh trading things and looking at each other's outfits and creating scenarios i don't know but yeah animal crossing um i never really like i've played it before i played it on gamecube before uh and i kind of lost interest but this time around maybe it's just the better graphics of the nintendo switch or something but it's it's like a lot more enjoyable to me now than it was before i guess also the multiplayer aspect is is something to to consider. Yeah, when I'm not playing Animal Crossing or making bread or putting puzzle pieces together, uh, uh, I've been reading books, which is nothing new for me. I read a lot. Uh, right now I'm reading a book called Girl Child by Tupelo Hassman. Um, it's kind of an upsetting read, to be honest. It's told through the voice of this little girl uh, that lives in a trailer park in Nevada, Nevada somewhere. And um, yeah, uh, they, they don't have the easiest life, um, so I'm reading reading about that and uh but I also read I read a book by um Eric Larson I believe was the, the author about Winston Churchill that took a bit that took like a month to get through it was a big book um so I got some education on World War II and Churchill's role in that and uh which was actually more enjoyable than I kind of thought it would be, to be honest. Um, so that was neat. And, uh, what else have I read? Uh, I read a book called Blindness about a pandemic, uh, where people just suddenly turned blind. Um, and they were quarantined in this, like, mental ward. Uh, and all sorts of stuff happened. That was crazy. I read that. Uh, I've been reading some comics, which are contributing to my newfound appreciation for doing like little panels in my sketchbook of, of images and characters and stuff. So I'm kind of leaning towards the comic world as far as art goes these days. I'm not really sure where it's going, but uh, it feels organized and like... I don't know. It just feels good to to make a little comic. I don't know. <laughs> um, but for this one, uh, I just started thinking about all the things that make me happy and all the things that don't so much make me happy. Uh, started typing, typing out that list. Um, maximum of 10 things each. I want to say that the good outweighs the bad recently, though. Uh, 
couple months ago, I was kind of going through a thing. Um, I don't know, just like mild depression, maybe? I can't really describe it. It was just like a conglomeration of all sorts of things just circling through my brain. And um, I, I got past it. I was talking. Talking it out helps. Um, anyway. But you know what else helps is making art and diving into other people's art, be it a movie or a book, some sort of story that isn't your own. Um, and that can maybe even influence your own your own work, if you're into that kind of thing. Um, it helps. It helps to get lost in other stories. Take your mind off of your own garbage. And, and yeah. Also, getting outside helps. Going for walks helps. Getting some fresh air, moving your legs, all that good stuff. But anyway, I'm going to wrap this up here. And I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, please be well. Please be safe. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.